Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. if you can see that hobby town usa in fort smith arkansas and i'm not sure if you can see the sign over there but they're having a model show so we're going to go in here check it out okay so we are inside hobby town and you will not guess who we run into while we were here look it's ernie Hatmaker. <laughs> but really going scale model car guy so uh, <laughs> this is gonna go down as one of my youtubers in the wild video oh well, not really wild but uh, you know it's kind of tame in here but anyway so uh, yeah Sean um, he told us about the show and we decided to come over and check it out so uh, tell me about your channel real quick Sean well I do model cars <laughs> what else you want can't get no more simple than that so anyway I'll put a link in the video description you guys make sure you go over and check out his channel but in the meantime let's look around and see what we got here yeah so uh, anybody that says Urkel does yeah whatever Urkel lives huh what? Say that again. <laughs> All right, so got a rusty looking Nova, except uh, of course the engine don't look too rusty. It looks like a sleeper car. Really nice. So. Now I know that, Sean, you said some of these are yours. Tell me about them here real quick. That's my 356 Speedster. Okay. That's a Fujimi kit. All right. And that's the competition kit. And then this one here is the Tamiya Lotus Super 7. All right. And that in there is the uh, Ravella Germany uh, Land Rover Defender. That's this one. I, yep. was, I was looking at the wrong one. And then this one here, me and Chris had a uh, Classic Plastic 101, that was our buddy build. And that's the Buddy Baker k, &K Insurance uh, Charger. Nice. All right. It's buddy Baker? Buddy Baker. Buddy Baker was so the driver. What, oh, okay, because I thought maybe it was because the engine got hot and you could bake things. <laughs> you probably could by the time they got done racing like that, 500 miles. What they call those things where you have the little light bulb? No, Easy Bake. <laughs> no, 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 Buddy Baker. And this is my Bell Kits uh, Ford Escort, and uh, it's got the opening doors, and I put the resin cast motor in, the opening trunk. Now the doors in the trunk open on the kit, or you did them? No, I you, did it. You I modified them. them to do them. Yeah, that I, way. I okay. them. Okay. That sign says, "Do not test." Very nice. <laughs> I, I think that he can override that sign since it's his model, though. <laughs> so. All right, and I, I know everybody out there has probably seen this before. Yeah, that's my empty inch pincher race team. That was actual race team back in the 60s, early 70s. All right. And that one in the back is just a uh, 116 scale Reveal, uh 34 Ford kit that I totally modified, made it into a 5060 custom. That's nice. All right, and for those of you that stay on top of your most recent videos, you should have seen this one too. Yeah. So, I, I'm, I'm bad about staying up on my videos. It's hard enough to keep up on my comments. <laughs> so, all right. And then that 50, that's a 56 Goon Sanyo Volkswagen, and it was a curbside kit, and I put the motor in it and put resin wheels on it. Okay. Those wheels were from Pink's Garage. That's a real cool. And in the car in the back, that 48, mm -hmm. that was me and Chris from CP 101. That was our buddy. Okay. 
Yeah, I haven't really participated in many buddy builds yet either. Something I need to, I guess, expand to. I did the cancer awareness build last year. I guess that's kind of a buddy build. So, now you guys have probably seen this one before too, and there's a story behind that one. Actually, uh, you, you had a car like yeah, that. That was a real car. My, that that you was modified. my actual car right there. Yeah. That's, yeah. I sold that on eBay years ago. So, so that's, that in the backyard. that's really cool. That one in the backyard, that one on the bench. Yeah. So, not too many people can say they've built the same car twice. And that's a Kuba wagon. And it's got resin custom wheels on it and uh, got the engine customized, lowered, dropped. It's got four mountain oysters on it. Four mountain oysters. Mountain oysters. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the uh, Fujini uh, Porsche. I made an outlaw custom out of that. Very cool. Very cool. So. And that one there is just a British. Uh, race team, I guess, little club sport racer where you want a little club car. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. A little race day. It actually opens up. Yeah, they had a, uh, a Land Rover like that in Jumanji. As a matter of fact, DG, uh, Brian from DG, he just bought. I remember seeing a post about, yeah. I don't know if he's built it yet or not. Okay, well these these belong to somebody else, but so well he probably can't talk about them quite as uh, as as well as he can about the ones he did. Yes, you can. But, uh, and, and this one's brown, and this one he painted it red, and he painted it red. <laughs> kind of sound like my cousin. <laughs> what was that, Ted? You, you don't remember your own cousin's name yet. You created your cousin. Well, I don't want to say nothing about multiple personalities. <laughs> this looks like the Foose kid, isn't it? I used to go at Tosuk and had a Gmail this way to go into uh, Joplin from the bag or uh, go to Fayetteville, but actually I could cut off and go to Fayetteville and Hot Springs. This was not round to Oklahoma City, too. Oh, wow. The bike in the back of that truck is kind of cool. Is that yours? No. no. Oh, okay. Oh, I wish it was. Yeah, we were just talking about just the detail and the painting. Yeah, and, the, and the horn work. And the, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's amazing. Now, this itself is kind of amazing because it just kind of creeps me out. It is pretty wild. Now this is actually uh, the junior division entries, I believe is what he said, so uh, him and his niece, uh, Sean and his niece built that last night. Now, he believed that this is also part of the junior division, look at this. We have a awesome up and coming model builder somewhere around here. This Corvette just looks amazing. So is this your stuff, sir? 
Oh, no, no, I'm just uh, oh. actually just, I was just kind of judging some stuff here, so okay. take all the pictures you want. Let me get out of the way. No, you're fine. I mean, I, I'm doing a YouTube video for for my YouTube channel, so. Oh, okay. Um, just figure. And uh, so, so you guys, if, if you want to be mad at somebody, this is the guy. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so. Anyway, all right, awesome. Thank you. Okay, oh, no guys, so. As a bonus to this, now I knew that I was probably going to run into some really nice folks here, but Mel is one of the judges, and he's also on YouTube. 400 AGL is his channel name. Yeah. So, so tell me about your channel real quick. Well, I do drone and technology. Mm -hmm. I do drone flights. I do uh, model aircraft, radio controlled aircraft, anything pretty much that flies. Okay. Or new tech, um, FAA regulations regarding airspace, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, bit of it. so there you go. If you're looking for any of that kind of stuff, if that's what interests you, go over and check out Mel's channel. And I'm going to go find his channel and actually put a link in the description so you guys can go over there a little bit easier. But Mel, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. All right. Okay, guys. So I got another one of the model builders here. And I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. I'm Richard LaFleur. Okay, Richard. Um, and Richard's got models here in the show, so he's going to kind of show us and talk about them real quick. So um, this is, these are some mock m for A1 Shermans. I have kit bashed into 40k. I took it Lehman Rust parts. The twin auto cans for the Lehman Rust I turned into these little scout vehicles. This little fast attack Shermans I have made and this one uses the exterminators uh, plasma cannon and auto cannon for the hull. Very cool. And I did write some of its battle honors on the side here. Hell's Reach and Bust and some of these other little, these are little references to like Chronicles of Riddick for Crematoria and right. Damocles Campaign and all the others, Adrian's High. Nice touch. Yeah. Nice details on there. And this Bainblin, this is um, this is a straight out, this is my pride of the regiment. I did take the time to paint every rivet on this gold. We was these looking heads, at that earlier, yeah. yeah. Did do some work to get these heads are from uh, Victorian miniatures, so they had completes the Victorian god look. Mm -hmm. But it did take me a little bit to paint these, and I did add a lot of good to it and I did paint these green on the back because this is a biofuel <laughs> Bayblin. <laughs> very neat yeah very neat uh, this is one of my first builds you can't see why I didn't mess up building it right there it's a little pushed in mm -hmm. which is a common issue with the Bayblin if you didn't built it okay and over here I have two kick bash tanks as well this is a Mark 7 Churchill it's pretty built straight out of the box, but this is my very first kit bash vehicle I ever did. I had the superstructure on the back on the top. Mm -hmm. It's a Mark IV land ship that I modified into a Macrador. But I didn't want to pay the full total price for it. Right. But this is a Babel. This is a Lehman Russ execute uh, demolish cannon with a battle cannon added in. And this is the oh, I forget its name now. But the rest of the this is a spare Babelin turret here too. Earlier this morning. Cool. The flag is also custom built with an original Praetorian Guard decal. It's very hard to find these. But luckily I did find a cheap original Praetorian Guard box. Right. And these are some of my inquisitors over here. This is his inquisitor and his retinue. Right. I got these guys from Octum Cthulhu for about 20 bucks for these 10 guys. Okay. And this is just a normal Blackstone Fortress box. I did green stuff his hair, so all those dreadlocks are not from this the model. That's what I've done oh. myself. We gotta go uh, now that, if that you want to pick him up, I don't mind. I'll just do well, as you want. Well, someone I, I think I can catch the detail like this, mm -hmm. but uh, that, that, that's, that's awesome. I've never I love done, that detail. Yeah. I've never done so, anything like this before, so I'm a very yeah, cool. Shy. Very cool. So, I'm going to have to take back all of the bad things that I ever said about you, Sean. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we are at Hobbytown USA in Fort Smith, Arkansas. This is where the car show is. and uh, model The show. model show. That's right. <laughs> model car show. How's that? But anyway, so we were over there checking out the models. And Sean, being the guy that he is, the big heart that he has, he's like, Ed, yeah, pick you one out, and it's on me. So, I think you can see that right there. Yeah. So... He just bought me a Grand National kit, so when I do finally put this together, I'm going to dedicate it to you, Sean. Right. I really appreciate it. So.
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.